God is saying to you today, continue to embrace each challenge as an opportunity for growth and deepening of your faith. Remember, every obstacle you face is a chance to demonstrate resilience and trust in my guidance. These challenges are not roadblocks, but stepping stones on your path towards spiritual maturity. Stay connected with the community of believers. In a world that values independence, the biblical call to interdependence is countercultural. Lean on others, share your burdens, and offer your strengths in service. This mutual support not only strengthens the individual members, but also the entire body, enhancing its ability to fulfill my mission on earth. Keep your focus on serving rather than being served. In doing so, you embody the spirit of my Son, who came not to be served, but to serve. This approach will not only transform your relationships, but also align your life more closely with my kingdom purposes. Maintain a heart of gratitude in all circumstances. Gratitude shifts your focus from what is lacking to the abundance I have already provided. This perspective is crucial for maintaining joy and peace, even in the midst of trials and hardships. Be vigilant in prayer. Prayer is your lifeline to me, a direct communication channel that remains open at all times. Use it not only to present your requests, but also to listen for my voice. Through prayer, gain the wisdom and strength needed for each day's tasks. Embrace simplicity where possible. In a world that often equates success with accumulation, choosing a simpler, more intentional life can free you from many burdens and distractions. This freedom allows you to focus more on what truly matters, relationships, service, and growing in your faith. Continue to cultivate a forgiving heart. Forgiveness is a powerful act of liberation, not just for the one who is forgiven, but for you as well. Holding on to grievances binds you to the past. Forgiveness frees you to live fully in the present and look forward to the future with hope. Share your faith openly and with integrity. Let your life be a testament to the changes that my spirit can bring. When others see the peace and joy that permeate your life despite external circumstances, they will be drawn to learn the source of your strength. Invest in the things that endure. Time, energy, and resources spent on building up treasures in heaven are never wasted. Focus on loving well, promoting justice, and spreading kindness. These investments enrich your eternal relationship with me. Finally, rest in the assurance of my unconditional love for you. You are precious in my sight, not because of anything you have done, but because you are mine. This profound truth should be the foundation of your identity and the source of your security. As you continue on this journey, remember that I am always with you, guiding you, cheering you on, and delighting in your growth. Walk each day in confidence, knowing that you are never alone and that my love for you is everlasting. Go forward with courage, holding on to the promises I have made, for they are sure and steadfast. Type I embody love to affirm. God message for you. Continue to seek wisdom in all your endeavors. Wisdom is a treasure that guides you to make choices that align with my will and leads to a life of peace and fulfillment. Ask for wisdom freely, for I give generously to all without finding fault. 
nurture your spiritual disciplines. Regular engagement with scripture, prayer, fasting, and meditation deepens your relationship with me and strengthens your faith. These practices are not just ritualistic, but are vital means of grace in your spiritual journey. Remain joyful in hope, patient in affliction, and faithful in prayer. Joy is not dependent on your circumstances, but on your relationship with me. Patience is forged in the trials of life, and faithfulness in prayer keeps your spirit attuned to my voice. Be proactive in your pursuit of peace. Peace does not always come easily. It often requires effort and intentionality. Whether it's peace within yourself, in your relationships, or in your community, pursue it with diligence. For blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Maintain an attitude of service. Look for opportunities to serve others, not just in big ways, but also in everyday acts of kindness. Service is a powerful expression of my love and a direct way to demonstrate your faith in action. Keep your heart open to forgiveness. Holding on to bitterness or resentment hinders your spiritual growth and disrupts your peace. Forgive as freely as you have been forgiven. This not only liberates you, but also opens pathways to healing and reconciliation. Stay humble and teachable. No matter how much you know or how far you have come, there is always more to learn. Humility allows you to see beyond yourself and appreciate the contributions of others. It keeps you grounded in my grace. Cultivate a spirit of generosity. Give freely and give often, not merely from your abundance, but also from your scarcity. Generosity is a reflection of my character and a testament to your trust in me as your provider. Be patient with the growth and transformation, both in yourself and in others. Just as a gardener does not pull the plants to help them grow faster, recognize that spiritual growth requires time and cannot be rushed. Engage with the world with boldness and confidence, knowing that I am with you. Let your light shine brightly so that others may see your good deeds and glorify me in heaven. Your life is a living testimony of my love and power. Finally, rest in the knowledge that you are never alone. My presence goes with you wherever you go. Lean on me in times of weakness. Rejoice with me in times of joy. And walk with me each day with the assurance that I am always by your side, guiding, supporting, and loving you. As you continue to walk this path, remember that every step is ordained by me. You are exactly where you need to be and I am using every moment to shape you for greater things. Trust in my perfect timing and infinite wisdom and know that I am always working for your good. Type, I embrace my power to affirm. Angel's message, continue to cultivate resilience and adaptability in your faith journey. Life will inevitably bring changes and challenges that test your resolve and stretch your faith. Embrace these as opportunities to grow stronger and more reliant on my support, knowing that my grace is sufficient for you and my power is made perfect in weakness. Keep your life rooted in community and fellowship. The bonds you form with fellow believers provide strength and encouragement that are vital for enduring life storms. These relationships are a source of mutual edification, where you can confess your struggles, celebrate victories, and carry each other's burdens. Be diligent in seeking out solitude as well as community. 
While fellowship nurtures your relational needs, solitude with me replenishes your soul at its deepest levels. In these quiet moments, you can process your thoughts, reflect on my word, and receive the renewal needed to continue your mission with vigor. Maintain a posture of worship in all aspects of life. Worship extends beyond music or church services. It is a way of living that honors me in every action, thought, and decision. Let your life be a continuous offering of worship, demonstrating reverence and love for me and the mundane and the magnificent alike. Remember the importance of obedience in your walk with me. It's through obedience that you express your love and trust in me. This commitment deepens your relationship with me and aligns your path with my perfect plans for your life leading to fulfillment and joy. Stay committed to spreading my love and peace in every environment you enter. You are my ambassador, carrying the message of reconciliation to a broken world. Let your words and actions always be seasoned with grace and truth, drawing others towards healing and wholeness. Be vigilant against the snares of materialism and the lure of worldly success. While it's not wrong to possess things or achieve success, they should not distract you from your primary mission or supersede your devotion to me. Keep your treasures in heaven where they are secure and abundant. Continue to exercise faith over fear. In a world filled with uncertainty and turmoil, let your faith be a beacon that guides you through the darkness. Trust in my sovereignty and goodness, knowing that I am in control and that my love for you is unchanging. Encourage others to walk in faith and pursue a relationship with me. Your journey can inspire and motivate others to seek me. Share your experiences openly, offering hope and guidance to those who are searching for meaning and connection in their lives. Lastly, always return to the foundational truth of your identity in me. You are loved, valued, and purposefully created for my glory. Let this truth anchor you in every season of life, providing strength, confidence, and peace as you navigate the complexities of the world. As you move forward, keep your eyes fixed on the eternal. This perspective will shape not only how you live each day, but also how you respond to success and adversity. Walk with me in continual awareness of my presence, drawing on my strength and wisdom, and rest assured that I am always working for your ultimate good and my eternal glory. Comment, Jesus is Lord. Today's beautiful message, continue to cultivate a heart that seeks justice and mercy in your interactions and decisions. As you strive to reflect my character, remember that I call you to act justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with me. These principles are foundational to living a life that honors me and impacts others positively. Stay committed to lifelong learning, both spiritually and intellectually. Expand your understanding of my word, but also engage with the world around you in a way that broadens your perspectives and deepens your compassion for others. Knowledge when paired with wisdom, can lead to more effective service and advocacy in my kingdom. To support our channel, please subscribe our channel and turn on bell notification.